right, uh, let's do a new story. Will it continue? We have these versions right here. I want to see kind of what what the game is like. I don't know. I get well. Actually, look at all these. Uh, Spine chilling story of school scissors. This is that same one that we did before. That it's that last campaign. So it would just be doing that one. Tiny section of standard playthrough showcasing one of the available mysteries. Extracurricular activity, this option will prepare you for the standard skeptic playthrough, allowing you to start the game without worrying about in-depth stuff. So it doesn't actually seem like these are particularly unique. What is this locked thing? That's what I wanna know. So I guess maybe base game, unlockables. Contains all cards you've unlocked through achievement. So do I have to get things? Contains eight additional events and encounters. Hunting party, crime scene, blood drive, lovesick corner, upper kingdom, stock chan, vengeful athlete, anatomy. So I must, yeah, I must have to do those other events, right? Because that's complexity two, complexity three. Extended D unlock while playing. Extended. So, hmm. In that case, do we have to? For some reason, it thinks I've done the first one. Maybe because I did the event for it. So let's experiment and do this really quick. Because we've done a customized playthrough. We'll do quick play. Does this even do anything for us? Oh no, this is just the black marble. Okay, so no, this is going to be basically the same thing that we would have done before. Interesting. All right, so let's just keep doing our customized playthrough. That's fine. Unlocked while playing. Yeah, so I guess these just unlock the longer, the more runs we do. Sandals. All right, let's go. Uh... Max reason 17. Oh, I see. So these different things decrease our um, overall strength and stuff like that. All right, let's just go on the skeptic playthrough, I guess, like it said. All right, so we still we still need to beat Thak after Asu, so let's do this. My home. Ooh. Let's do the occult shop. I've never done the police station, so we'll have we'll have two different shops. In downtown, all of these things exist. Witch's tree. I don't know what that does. Cool. Save, confirm, and continue. Ooh, we got an empty bottle. Yes. Been wanting that for a while. You could leave something to charge here. Oh. All right, let's see. What are our mysteries? Horrible history of household hell. Sorrowful saga of moonlight sailors. Vicious verses of a violent vigil. We've never done that one, allegedly. Spine chilling story of school scissors. Again. Wait, there's only four for these? Interesting. Isn't there normally five? Seal of, uh... Oh, actually. This could have been good if we didn't mess this up. I could have at least gotten a reason back. Uh, plus one knowledge? Hell yeah. We'll do that right off the bat. And just start with a lower. Let's see if we, I mean, if we do this, we might have the ability to get that first ending again. What happens if we reroll them? Yeah, we're still missing uh, one of the things. Bizarre Bruit of Blood Curdling Botanist, Macabre Memoir of Morbid Something, Contagious Coma, Violent Vigils. Let's see if we can get a bunch that aren't. Mor macabre Memoir of Mor mer ugh, Morbid Mermaids. This one sounds cool. Trying to find different sets.
Thaumaturgy teacher was tough. Just keep re-rolling re our mysteries till we get a decent... Thorful Saga of the Moonlight Sailors. I don't remember that one. I don't care about the rancid ramen. We have both of those things. Bloody Brief Beckoning Bulletin. That one's tough, too. I'm just trying to get uh, a roll that has a bunch of ones that we've never done before. That would be cool. Dream Devourer. Oh yeah, the coma. Crimson Cape, that could be interesting. Abnormal Arms, Contagious Coma, Violent Vigil. We're so close to the ones that I want. Crimson Cape, Violent Vigil. I want Crimson Cape, Violent Vigil, and Mermaids. That would be great. Let's see if we can get this. All right, uh, this one is gonna be this is gonna be like our best roll that I think we can get. Macabre memoir of morbid mermaids, vicious verses of a violent vigil, far out fable of a fear festival, freaky feature of found footage. We've already done these two, but we only have like two endings to get for these to complete these, so may as well get them done. Uh, vicious verses of a violent vigil uh, will be new, as will the macabre memoir of mor uh, morbid mermaids. This one has the most endings out of any that we've seen, I think, so far, so that will be an interesting one to do. Let's go ahead and do that one. I like mermaids. I think mermaids are interesting, like the creepy Polish fairy tale mermaids. Janitor was obsessed with mermaids. He's collected every scrap of the legend about them in the school basement. Now his mind is snapped. He's decided to, it's time to make one of the, his own using unfortunate students' bodies as materials. Oh no, this is very Rule of Rose. There's one thing everyone at the school is talking about. Another girl from your area has gone missing. Could there be anything connecting all the missing people? I should investigate downtown next. We need to investigate the seaside as well. The school, schoolyard. Cool. Got one companion. It's pretty good. Occult shop. Oh, small chance of recovering reason after defeating an enemy. That seems really useful. Additional magic slot. Ignore that. Small chance of getting that. That's useless. Minus 10% do, minus 3% max D. Uh, no, we're getting the one handed knife and it does knowledge. It's based on knowledge. Hell yeah. This is a sandals weapon. Ethotu Flame. Another very sandals <laughs> item. Deals eight damage, it's pretty good. Our Doom is at six. We wanna shop for actual items now. Compass. Oh yeah, immediately. Super important item. All right, investigate the seaside twice. Do that. We have one fund. You wonder what kind of animal spider caught in its web? Oh, minus two reason, plus one item. Patina ring. Uh, plus one dexterity, minus two max stamina. Uh, we will sell that because we do not need the dexterity. We'll go to the hardware shop. We have two funds. We can buy stuff. Price three funds. Can of acid. Seven damage to eldritch enemies. That's actually pretty nice. Carpenter hammer. Don't need that. Mm, actually. The strength weapon, though. We have low strength. It's an equipment, it's a light source. We'll, we'll need this for the ending, though. 
we'll grab that. All right, A, that's actually a really strong start. If feeling your hand shaking, you take a step closer, ignore it. Strength check, success. Despite your sudden desire, you get hold of yourself. Moving away from it, you quickly forget the whole encounter. Plus five experience. You may be going crazy, but you swear something is watching you from the sea. Hey, that completed the quest. That's cool. I hope the batteries are still okay. That's cool. Its blade is covered with a strange liquid. It will surely be useful. All right, hey, we have a pretty solid uh, start. Investigate downtown. Sir Floppy Bit says, I love the art style of this game. Yeah, the art in this game is amazing. Getting dark as you arrive at the cemetery, move between, uh, and shadows move between the fantastic and unaccountable way. Move in fantastic and unaccountable ways between the tombstones. Finding the right grave may prove to be a challenge, especially when you feel someone's gaze on your back. Continue looking. Perception check, success. Nice. Uh, you quickly find the tombstone marked with red string. Under a stone, you find a note someone left for you, plus five experience. Yay. Asking around the neighborhood got you some results. It seems that all the girls attended the same school. Let's investigate the school. Great. Park guest. Daytime. Ooh. Grimbeard. Ooh. <laughs> All right, let's uh, investigate the school again. All the missing girls were apparently members of the school swimming team. Maybe someone saw the kidnapper stalking them. I mean, we know who the kidnapper is, right? Weird bubbling sound lures you to the dark shower room. On the floor, you find a swimsuit thrown over a grotesque leathery coil. Wait, that's not a coil. Drain swimmer. All right, uh, remember, drain swimmer was our first bad enemy. Drain swimmer, number one. All right. Time needed 42. I can do four and that gives me enough for three. One, two, three. Actually, one, two, three. Oh my God, I can do another one. Four. Save. How'd I miss the attack? Oh my God. Try this. A nine reason. Oh my god, how did our reason get so low all of a sudden? That was brutal. Plus 12 experience. You find a notebook containing handwritten details and notes about the swimming club itself and mermaids. Travel to morbid school. Sure, we'll do that. Investigate the morbid school. Nauseating stench stops you. Someone has scattered rotting fish, uh, guts everywhere, and hung up countless fish heads. You cover your mouth as you slowly retreat. A vast flock of seagulls outside viciously attack the windows. Minus one stamina and reason. Well, it happens. Whoever the kidnapper may be, they seem to be really obsessed with mermaids. Inside the science lab, you find a plan of the town sewer system. Someone has marked a path leading from the sea directly to the school building. Increase our stuff. Uh, investigate downtown. Suddenly, an empty bottle smashes on the wall behind you. You cover yourself from the glass fragments and notice a masked assailant holding a baseball bat. Rioter. Oh, wow. There's already a rioter, huh? There we go. Load. Wait, what's that? Prescription, ooh. Where could you fill a prescription like this? Hospital, huh? Pharmacy. I don't have enough money. Price three funds. How do I get more library notes? Mind drain, oh my God, that's really useful. Uh, whatever, we'll exit without buying anything. Important document, drug prescription. 
Expensive pharmacy drug. How much money do I need for that? All right, whatever. Uh, investigate downtown. We're doing bad on the Doom Tracker, but it's fine. When you enter a metro car, you notice an oddly shaped package on the seat opposite you. It's marked with your name. You reach for the package, but hesitate. Nicey feeling settling into the pit of your stomach. Ignore it. You leave the next station in a hurry, hoping to forget the package as soon as possible. Minus one stamina. You compare the sewer plan with a school map, and suddenly it dawns on you. School basement! That must be the place where the kidnapper is keeping the missing swimmers. Yeah, I mean, we kind of figured that already. Wait, why is it suddenly so dark outside? You stand by the window to take a look. Black smog emerges from the courtyard, uh, courtyard coating everything in an oily vapor. Observe the smog. Reception check success. Sludgy vapors rise slowly upward, forming a perfect spiral. You back away from the window, surprised by this curious phenomenon. Plus eight experience. Hey, that's pretty good. There's no turning back now. God, let's hope she's all right. You bust through the door to the janitorial closet. It's already too late. The latest missing girl is lying on a dirty mattress, her upper torso at least. A tail of a fish has been crudely sewn in place of her legs. She was too weak and died, you hear the mad janitor say. He looks up, you up and down. Maybe you'll do. Not giving up after the previous failure, the obsessed janitor has found another body to experiment on. You! Mad janitor. How do I keep missing with the ritual dagger? God damn. Yeah, that's a better way to do it. Oop. Dave. There we go. Mad Janitor's body slumps to the floor. You pick up his axe, and using it as a crutch, you try to leave the room. Injured and weakened, you slowly lose consciousness in the school corridor. Pretty good damage. Speed 100, chance to hit 65. It's a strength weapon. We're not, we don't need it. Continue. Police officers find you a few hours later. No trace of the mad janitor is found, but you will sleep a little better tonight knowing that the other students are safe. Macabre memoir of mor morbid mermaids ending A, resort rewards for solving this mystery, 30 experience. So yeah, uh, 45 experience, 5% doom, one day. All right, let's see. Leadership, quick thinking, plus one dexterity, reporter's bag. Um, we need charisma more than we need anything else. Having more luck is good too, to pass luck checks. But uh, charisma checks we fail on all the time. So we can get plus two charisma and get up to six, or plus one charisma to get up to five, and then plus one luck. Let's do that. Um. The air feels heavy, making it hard to breathe. Fetid fumes. All right, my home. Take the key. Take a bath. Extra reason regained. Definitely useful. Um. Hmm. Nothing happens when we touch the light switch. I wonder why that is. All right. Try to decide. Huh. Let's see. I think we'll do Violent Vigil next. Uh, vicious verses of a violent vigil. You've received an official looking letter. What does a law firm from Tokyo want from you? We regret to inform you of the passing of our client, your grand uncle. His funeral will be preceded by an overnight vigil as per the client's request. There's an address and a list of people expected to arrive. You don't recognize any of the names. Intrigued, you decide to check it out yourself. What's the worst thing that could happen? <laughs> All right, the arrival at the mansion. Following the directions from the letter, you slowly fight your way through the overgrown forest path. The old mansion looks like it was torn down and rebuilt many times, but where is everybody? Explore mansion action will unlock new locations to progress this mystery. 
Okay, so this is a this is gonna be another unique mission. Who's, oh, this is just the other student. Gotcha. Despite your best efforts, you feel like the neighborhood is starting to change. Location threat level increases. Oh my god, we've been so unlucky with this. Takes you some time, but finally you manage to find someone. Is that another guest? You should ask them what's going on in here. Four actions on the right allow you to investigate the location, interact with it. Eight hours until dawn. Who's that? A pair is standing next to the window. A man is muttering something to himself while his wife is observing you with her unnaturally bulgy eyes. The body is laid in the master bedroom. You should pay him your respects. Uh, let's see. Hmm. There's a local legend about a uh, heartbroken seamstress. One stormy night, she broke into a local inn and stitched the unsuspecting guests together. Her final gruesome artwork. But that's just a legend, right? <laughs> All right, uh, let's check out, uh, let's rifle through the cupboard. <gasps> Luck check success. Inside the cupboard, you find a sewing kit and decide to leave the room before any legends spring to life. <laughs> hey, Got him. Pressing a handkerchief to your nose, you enter the dark room. There's no way they allowed your grand uncle to just lie here. What was the correct or bow and clap order? Maybe the other guests will know. Um... Dilapidated corridor. You notice another family member has arrived. Young woman wrinkles her nose when she notices you. You can swear you've seen the symbol engraved in her necklace before. You didn't get this with a letter? Here, take mine. She's like cool and goth. I like her. We would like to thank you on behalf of our client for participating in the vigil at short notice. Uh, he was a spiritual person and left instructions we were asking you to follow closely. It's 10 p.m. Pray over the body. All right. Vigil pamphlet. Bow, bow, clap, bow. Yeah, we did that. All right. <clears throat> Inspect his foot. There's a, there's a weird symbol tattooed on the man's toe. You copy it into your pamphlet. Neat. All right. Dilapidated corridor. Let's explore the mansion again. Check out the masks. Stalker's mask. Damage against human enemies. That's actually pretty good. Get rid of the backpack. Oh, that's fine. 11 p.m. We don't have the access to the fireplace yet. Right, you shudder instantly recognizing the room from a newspaper photo. Three years ago, a man hanged himself here. Why is a vigil being held in a place like this? Check the wardrobe. Not enough room. Item added to storage. Okay. Okay, we can explore the rest. Oh, no, I see. Light up the fireplace. Right? That's what the vigil says to do. 11 p.m., light up the fireplace. Pray over the body. Clap, clap, bow, clap. Perception check failed. You couldn't find any firewood to add to the fireplace. Oh, no. That's bad. Uh, cool. Explore the mansion. You were startled when you discovered the headless body. You were horrified when you saw its head hanging in the middle of the room and laughing. Animated head minus one reason. Damn it. We could have gotten out of that without, uh, if I had just hit that third attack, it would have killed it. Found an item, black hair. Cool, went to storage. 12 a.m. pray over the body. Clap, clap, bow, clap. The body, it's missing. 
All right, well, this is gonna go bad. Where is everybody? Oh, fucking God. That someone has already removed all the furniture from this room. An overgrown plant is casting an unsettling shadow. All right, well, we're fucked because we messed up the thing. It sucks that there's like a required thing you have to do that is based on timing. That's really ir that or based on chance. That really sucks. In the mirror, you catch a glimpse of something that shouldn't be there, plus two doom. You manage to find one of the guests. They are shaken, but otherwise safe. You both decide to get the hell out of this place. The door is gone. Oh, it's this person. This reminds me of one of my books. The whole building is being to shake as you enter the room. Suddenly a stone pillar bursts through the floor where you stood just a second ago. Noticing the arcane symbols painted on the stone, you take a step closer. Uh, study the symbols. You recognize some of the symbols from a stone tablet you saw at the museum. What's the connection? Plus 10 experience. That's pretty good. Oh, dark forces scheme against you. You don't know who you can trust anymore. Plus curse. God damn it. Branded. Chance of raising doom with each investigation. That sucks. Akane, transformed by her greed. All right. Oh, I could have killed her in one hit. There we go. As the vigil is nearing its end, the whole mansion shakes more and more until the walls start to collapse, revealing the shocking truth about your whereabouts. The walls of the corridor collapse, revealing an alien landscape. Uh, you can taste blood in your mouth as the slimy appendages slowly get closer. A voice in your head tells you what to do 4 a.m. one hour till dawn. Sacrifice the guest. An unseen force leads your hand. You reach for the knife and stab a surprise guest. There we go. That didn't hurt my reason. It's very, it's in character for sandals then. Conclude the ritual. The price is paid. A voice booms in your head as everything gets dark. When you wake up, you find yourself lying on the wet grass. An old, the old mansion nowhere to be seen. Standing next to you is a naked, bloated old man. You recognize a tattoo on the man's toe. It's your deceased granduncle. With a coarse voice, he explains the ritual. You try to keep up with him, but your speak weak and uh, your head spins. The death toll must remain the same. Two die and two survive. You feel like vomiting as the old man who has cheated death disappears behind trees. Everything gets dark. The man who you thought was your uncle has cheated death, making you an accessory to murder. You know the police officers won't believe you when you tell them the truth and do your best to forget the nightmare you left behind. 45 experience, minus 5% doom. Great. Signed contract. This gives me extra funds for complete for gain for completing mysteries. Eh. Plus one luck, plus one dexterity. Let's do plus one luck. Well, we only have two more mysteries left, so it's not really worth it to get the funds. Um... We'll do plus two luck for now. Local scientists are baffled. An unprecedented aura-like event has bathed the entire town in a natural green glow. Interesting. Reason cost of all spells is increased by one. Rest action is less effective. What happens if I forget these? Plus one reason, okay. Eat though two flame. Probably won't touch those unless I absolutely need them. We have three funds. Sewing kit. Two needles and thread. Three stamina minus one charisma. Eh. Alright. Take a bath. Extra reason regained. 15 reason isn't too bad for right now. I think we're doing okay. Got a new mystery. All right, Fear Festival is pretty easy. Freaky feature of found footage was interesting too. Let's do this one. Your students disappeared in the process of making a documentary about local folklore. You'll find a clue, blah, blah, blah. Investigate the mansion twice. Where's the mansion? Oh, I'm already there, okay. Suddenly a wall before you withers and falls apart, revealing a hole-ridden monstrosity. Hole-ridden thing. 
Let's hope we get all the hits. Nope. How do I keep missing the attack? I don't understand. Chance to hit 60? Come on. Three students disappeared in the process of making a documentary about local folklore. Yeah, we just have to keep investigating that. All right, meat cleaver. What is this? Uh, let's put the sewing kit away. How do I do this? Storage, okay. What is black hair? Combines with sewing kit. Interesting. Put this in storage too. How do I combine it? Sewing kit with hair. Plus three stamina, plus three reason, occult medicine. That's, that's good. All right, what's in here? Damage four, speed nine, 90. It's a strength weapon, it's sharp. Extra damage against human and monster uh, enemies. Interesting. Hmm. That's a really good weapon. It has a slightly better chance to hit than my current weapon. Huh. Sharp one-handed strength. Magic one-handed knowledge. I'm not, I don't understand what this stat really means here because I have a huge amount of knowledge, but it doesn't seem to make the weapon any better. So I'm not sure. Put that in storage for now. Um, Yeah, we'll put that in storage for now, that's fine. Go back. Investigate the mansion again. As you glance around, you notice that more and more people are wearing strange masks. Unlike anything you've ever seen before, as you turn to your friends for reassurance, you notice that some also wear these eerie masks. Their voices sound muffled and distorted and can't quite shake off the feeling that they're not quite themselves. The hairs on the back of your neck stand on end and you realize something is terribly wrong. This can't be healthy. What are they protecting themselves against? You take a deep breath, and the air around you feels heavy, as if it's thick with an invisible poison. You cough, and your eyes begin to water. The world around you is not as safe as you once thought, minus two stamina. Let him say the witch was buried alive for kidnapping and murdering two children. It points you in a specific di direction, potentially saving you time. That's pretty good. All right, investigate the school. Should I just use the summon kit right now and get our reason up? Why not, right? Plus three stamina, plus three reason. Sir Floppy Bit says, gonna go, have fun. Thanks so much for watching, Floppy. Let's just go ahead and use this right now. Let's take the mask. Arcosa mask, faster spiritual actions. Send that to storage, don't, well. I don't need that. We'll trade that in, that's fine. Solve the event. All right, no it's mentioned a village not far from town. You decide to take a bus. Uh, I guess we'll go here. Do I want the occult shop or do I want the actual shop? Hmm, trinket usable. Addictive, plus one reason adds new status. I don't think sandals would. Uh, would smoke cigarettes. A random discounted item. Let's do this one. Defeat vampire easily. There's vampire enemies. Cursed cartridge. Uh, what's that say? Jack and Casey. Interesting. Hmm. Technology amulet. Is this an amulet? Accessory. What is it? What is an amulet? Throne items deal extra damage? Meh. Do we just want to buy the, the vampire heart just in case?
Let's restock. Plus five stamina, adds new status, thrown item steal. It was literally three of the same. Fuck, that's annoying. Whatever. Investigate downtown. I want something that removes a curse. Almost a year. Search his flat with a light. Oh, we finally have a flashlight. Let's search it with a light source. You shine a light uh, on the source in the dark closet. Something glitters at you. You grab it. We got a holy candle. Plus two reason when we use it. That's great. Solve that event. Investigate the village. Everyone in the village is unsettlingly friendly. Old farmer points you to an old stone. The missing group supposedly started their forest trip there. <laughs> Ballistic clipboard says, what do you got in the back? More of the same. <laughs> I need the Yakuza card. How the fuck do I get that? Uh, we have four funds. Stumble upon a forgotten bookstore in a small alley. The interior is cluttered with dusty old tomes, animal bones, and weird files, and stuff exotic animals don't even recognize. Can I help you? Asked the tiny man behind the counter. I have things that will surely help you in your quest. Let's buy a magic item. We got a mummified heart. It costs more than it did at the store, but that's fine. Resolve the event. Deeper into the woods. All right, now we have to do this part, which is scary. Great. Need steak knife item. Parasitic organism burrows under the bark, undulating slowly. Investigate it. Knowledge check success. All nearby trees are connected underground. The main branch leads east, making a mental note to avoid the region. All right, that's good. Smells of exotic incense. That's cool. Sudden storm forces you to find shelter in a nearby cave. Looking around, you discover strange markings on the walls. Use your flashlight. The flashlight's beam reveals additional symbols hidden in the shadows. They help you interpret the spell instructions drawn on the cave's wall. Hey! Expel evil. One time use only. Minus 6% doom. Cost 2 stamina. Yeah, we'll probably spend that. Suspicious group you've been following. Attempt to climb it. Strength check failure. Minus your stamina. That happened last time too. Sandals is a little bit of a weenie. Hearing some rustling behind a bush, you decide to hide behind a tree. There you spot three men, each armed with a rifle. They're obviously looking for something or someone. Reveal yourself. Charisma check failure. Oh no. You walk behind the tree and wave. Suddenly you hear a bang and feel an impact on your shoulder, which quickly turns into intense pain. Damn, that's not him. You hear the scream of one of the men before everything gets dark. When you open your eyes, you find yourself next to the road leading to the forest. Your wound is bandaged, but you fear it's not enough. <sighs> hasty aid. When taking stamina damage in combat, replace hasty aid with a new random injury. That sucks. At least they patched me up. It's true. They did their best. A wet splash behind you makes you stop. You slowly turn around to see a young girl sluggishly walking in your direction. Her, in her eyeball, there's a swarm of disgusting worms. One of them falls to the floor with a wet splash. Infested girl. Let's go, sandals. Knife that girl. Uh, Take a set and run. Not being able to deal with it, you decide to grab the tapes and run. You wander aimlessly through the woods for a few hours until you're found by a search party. You lead them to the house, but the door to the basement is missing. We have got ending C, so I guess I still just don't have ending A? I don't know what I would have needed to do to get ending A, because last time we tried to look in the hole, it didn't work. I uh, got a ton of experience, though, so... Minus 5% doom. I, the forest is restless. What does that even mean? Plus one knowledge of various rituals and regional myths. Interesting. What do we want? Dexterity. There's always a way out from the seemingly hopeless situations. It might be good to get more dexterity. Hmm. My low charisma is just screwing me over. Task Kitty says, that's the cutest custom character I've seen in a while. Also, hello. Hello. Thanks for watching. This is my tabletop character, Sandals Bueller. Uh, let's see. We do need more charisma. We also need more strength. Either way, it's going to help us, so that's fine. 
Imposing Shadow Cast by Lighthouse gets longer each day. What does that do? Lighthouse gets an additional floor. Oh no, that's bad. Anyone remember what our first enemy was? Because I sure don't. Our home. E. Take a bath. You stinky sandals. You stinky little ferret. All right. Uh, stamina regained. That's good. Nothing happens. Nothing good in there. Nothing in there. Alright, time for the last one, which I think we've done before, right? Fear Festival, yeah. Try to get the third ending for this. Aunt has sent you a letter inviting you for a curious sounding festival. It's held every 27 years in a small village. You don't like the sound of it, but your parents both agree you need a break from all the stress. Inside the letter, there's a bus ticket. What's the worst thing that could happen? Explore the weird village. Someone's waiting for us. Fat man, dusty overalls, in owner. Alright, check out the inn in my room. It's a free action. Click that. Sudden pain around the area of the branded mark. That sucks. Uh, check out the painting. Freeze and terror as something in the painting moves. There's a hole in it. I'm being spied on from a nearby room. All right, so that actually wasted time. Check out the inn staff only area. Worried and furious about the hole in the wall, you enter the inn from the back, trying to find the room that connects with yours. Thinking you finally found it, you enter, and the walls are covered in blood and gore. Someone has scribbled weird symbols everywhere. You spot something on the nightstand, but there's too much flesh and blood to tell what is happening from here. Uh, Kettle Chip says, who made all of these sandals assets? Splinter says, I'll bet 500 bits on Ka. Uh, we, that's 500 bits you're giving to me, Splinter, because they were made by Crimson. Crimson Rabbit did all the sandals uh, custom character modding. <laughs> Give me my five bucks, Splinter. All right, uh, all the walls are covered with blood and gore, so I'm gonna scribble weird symbols, something on the nightstand, but it's too much flesh and blood to tell what it is from here. Pick up the thing. Strength check failure. The gore is too much for your stomach. When you finally compose yourself to grab the thing, for a second you were worried it was a skull you had in your hands, but as you wipe more blood off, it's clear you've picked up a weird looking mask. That's fine. Weird sound wakes you up. You step closer to the window and look out. You can't see anything and get ready to get back to bed when suddenly the moon comes in from behind thick clouds. Three hooded figures are standing at the force edge. One by one, they light their torches to disappear behind the trees. What was that about? Who are they? They wore strange masks. Should you follow them into the forest or try to find more information about the festival? Let's go to the forest. Kaz says if I could draw 2D, there would be a lot more compromising sandals art. All right, you discover an old campsite, investigate the ground for clues. Perception check success. Footprints and tracks suggest a fight. The owner of the tent must have been dragged by unknown attackers into the woods. Plus five experience. Yay. Uh, can I check my storage here? I can't. Uh, that's a bummer. Enjoy the festival. Explore the weird village. Explore the forest. The Nishin Society. The pair that's been following you, blah, blah, blah. Minus two. That sucks. Because there's a battle at the end of this, I think, right? While wandering through the woods, blah, blah, try to decipher the things. Knowledge check, success. You're certain the missing people were here. You're on the right trail. We've already had these encounters. Going back to the inn, you overhear two masked villagers. They're talking about something awakening at the next dawn. Wonder what's up with that. It's not safe here. You wonder what's up with that. You decide to block the entrance to your room with a nightstand. The festival is ending tomorrow, and you can't be too careful. Cool. Check out the inn. Onsen sounds good, plus two stamina. Enjoy the festival. Look for friends. Locals seemingly busy setting up uh, stands decorating the place. A few stands are already open, but you can't shake off the feeling something's wrong. It's getting late. Look for friends. You stumble into your friend Asato. Can you lend me two funds? I don't have two funds. Oh, I did. She's joined me. Great. Why is it so quiet all of a sudden? Explore festival. Is that blood? Where is everybody? Find the missing people. A trail of blood, sickly smelling sludge, leads to the outskirts of the village. Somewhere in the dark forest, there's an answer for you. Let's go explore the village. Splinter also gifted some subs. Thank you so much, Splinter. It's a bad time to be out of cash, says the grim looking man who's standing in your way. Our company, fortunately, specializes in cases like yours. Uh, let's give him our fondest memory again. Minus three reason plus two funds, that's fine. Not too worried about that. 
What is Asato like? Witch, let go, gain two spells. Talk. At least the weather's nice. Needs hermit ally. I don't know. Said the famous priest out on this rock. Perhaps mysticism has seeped into it. Tap into his power. We got a spell. Oh, we got abolish. That's nice. This will probably be not something we deal with. While exploring the factory, you're caught by mass people. Tying you up, they bring you to the cult leader. We knew you'd come. Our master's waiting for a final blood sacrifice. We're gonna struggle. So we've already gotten this one before. So no new ending for us, even though we did a bunch of different things. With a loud bang, the ancient horror disappears and the high priest falls to the floor, grabbing their shoulder. The last thing you see before blacking out are beams of flashlights in the hand of a police officer saving you from falling. Later that day, detectives... Oh, we did get the new ending. Interesting. Detectives interrogating you are confused when you tell them about the ritual of blood and eldritch being. The village is abandoned with no trace of blood anywhere. You were the only one seeing the ancient horror. Hey, we got the new ending. I don't know how that happened. Was there something that I did that gave us that? <laughs> or was it just a random thing? While you couldn't catch the leader of the cult and interrogate them, the people are safe. You board the old bus, wondering what would happen if you didn't stop the ritual in time. I... Crimson Moon spotted over Shiokawa has everyone on edge. Enemies get additional 20 power. That's unbelievable. All right. Folkloric studies, art knowledge, plus one perception, plus one knowledge. Sure, we'll do perception. And then I'm going to increase our luck. And actually, charisma because of the lighthouse. My home. Take the thing. Shower help you calm down. Oh, I thought this was a headless corpse. And I was like, oh. Fill empty bottle with water, sure. And then hot water. Do I want extra stamina or extra reason? Reason, right? We'll do reason. Plus one stamina. Oh yeah, we can just use that. Now we have an empty bottle again. Mmm, drink that sandals bath water. Yummy. All right, Amis Lighthouse has been closed down for longer than you can remember. Enter the lighthouse. Hey. Right, we have plenty of time. There we go. Start climbing. Crimson's here. Hey, Grim. You're stopped by a girl wearing dirty black uniform. Sorry, I can't let you go any further. She says, reaching for a bag. It's too late anyway. Try to... I don't have enough charisma. Okay, minus two reason. That sucks. I thought I would have more because I, I got more charisma, but... Staircase, find a me uh, metal gate that blocks your way. Cable that should be powering its current disconnect. Power box itself is too covered with moist goo. Just inhaling the fumes makes your eyes itch and water, but, the power the, but to power the gate, you'll need to disconnect the faulty plug. Do that. Minus, two, minus three stamina. All right, that sucks. You're surprised at how much effort it takes to disconnect the faulty plug. As you force it, the weird goo burns your fingers. Finally, you manage to separate the faulty plug and connect with the proper cable. With a buzz, the gate opens. Lucky us. Following the winding staircase, you find a metal gate that blocks your way. It's locked. Okay, so this is the dexterity check, I think. Not enough dexterity. Minus three stamina. That hurts. It's fine. Oh, fuck. Title of the second mystery you investigated. This was uh, Vicious Versus, right? Yeah. Correct answer. Plus ten experience. Uh, second enemy I fought this run was Rioter. Right? Or was it, it was drain? No, I think it was Rioter. Correct answer. You ripped the photo underneath a tiny button. Look at that. Hey, my memory's good. Finding staircase, rules of change, kiddo, he says, taking the jacket and the mask off. Nothing personal, really. Takashi-san, the ultimate opportunist. It fucking wrecked, dude. Don't even try me. Dark clouds swirl around the lighthouse. Did you arrive too late? Sure didn't. Get wrecked. Thack Ataras. Rest prep shop, occult library, school, hospital, pharmacy, hardware with con.
All right, hey, we finished that run. Good for us.